Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8-Bit Eric. Today's video is sponsored by Friday Plays. Friday Plays offers gamers an awesome experience for a fraction of retail price. Every Friday, you'll get an awesome new game for you to play. Everything from the newest AAA games to cool indie games. You open your boxes directly on the website. These games will be sent to your account where you can open them and get your game instantly. The game box contains a Steam game key, and the best part is the game is yours to keep forever. The Friday Plays membership is $14.99 a month and contains $100 value in retail price. You get your games worth, and you can cancel your subscription at any time. Check it out now. It's pretty neat and interesting. If you're a lover of video games, it's a perfect little gift idea. Brand new games sent directly to you every Friday. You pick the one you want, and it's yours to keep. $14.99 a month. Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8 Eric. Welcome back to the channel. I have an interesting article about the Xbox Series X. Now, we do know that for the most part, Microsoft doesn't release their sales figures. We actually touched on this yesterday. Uh, for whatever reason, they just decided within the last while that they were just not going to release their sales numbers. But we just recently got Switch's news where they're getting close to 80 million Global sales for the Nintendo Switch. They just beat out the 3DS. They're closing in on the Wii. This could possibly become the most successful Nintendo console of all time. Then we just recently got some uh, numbers for the PS5, which they're crushing it. They are absolutely killing it. So, interesting article here is talking about UK Xbox Series X sales for January 2021. Um, again, we typically don't get sales numbers for Microsoft, but this is all a, uh, a reported speculation through some sources. Um, Games.industry.biz uh, actually reported this news on Twitter. Uh, very interesting. Again, this has been heralded as the most successful Xbox console launch ever. Microsoft did go out on a note to say that they have not had this much success for a console launch ever in their history so good on them i personally am in love with this console generation sure we have all this chaos of people not being able to get their consoles we have the chaos of scalpers being prevalent we have the chaos of games just kind of being slowly drip fed a lot of people have their mixed receptions about the consoles um this new next gen but i'm personally enjoying it i'm loving it i'm playing the games i'm playing the xbox i'm playing the ps5 and i love that gaming is doing successful this go around especially microsoft so good on them now let's read this news article real quick if you're not subscribed to the channel click the subscription button xbox series x beat ps5 and switch and uk hardware sales for january 2021 the Xbox Series X and Series S reportedly outsell the PlayStation 5 and Switch in the UK for the month of January 2021. So the UK has always kind of been, um, I would say, a smaller market. Uh, I, I think America, first and foremost, is the plan and the goal uh, to begin with as far as sales. And then Japan's always been a hard place for Xbox. But for UK, it seems that they are having quite a bit of success there despite PlayStation and Switch killing it during the holidays. So check this out. The launch of next-gen consoles in late 2020 has seemingly reignited the console wars between PlayStation and Xbox. It's a much friendlier style of console war than in decades past, but there's still a healthy competition. Sony understandably has the advantage, given it's carrying over PS4 momentum to the PS5. However, the Xbox Series X and S are well-positioned, compared to the xbox one and yeah you're, they are doing everything right this go around after fumbling the xbox one as evidence of that xbox one january's console sales in the uk now this is interesting here guys i don't know how accurate this is or whatever but according to gamesindustry.biz head christopher dring they reported the news on twitter saying the xbox xs was the best-selling console of january 2021 his comment suggests the number includes sales of both the Series X and the Series S. So this is both of the Series S and X combined. I don't know if that's fair. <laughs> you know, a fair uh, summary to combine both of them? I think so. Um, he said that would be the first month that Xbox's new console has won the sales totals as it did not lead in either November or December. So November and December it did not lead in the UK. But now apparently 
January, they did great. Again, it's both the S and the X being combined as far as the sales goes. I don't know. Should should that count, combining both of them? It's kind of a gray area in my opinion, but let's go ahead and continue. Now, it does go on to say November 2020 was dominated by PS5, while December was won by the Nintendo Switch, according to Dring. The rotation raises as many questions as it answers, but overall... The situation points to a simple explanation. The UK console market is likely restrained as much or more than the US and Japanese markets for new consoles. Availability probably plays a part in determining which consoles are winning the total sales numbers each month. As such, Xbox probably managed to supply more Xbox Series X as consoles than its competitors did with their own consoles. So yeah, there's rumors that the Switch outsold both of them, so that would be hard to find. PlayStation 5, still in demand, hard to find. So if, in theory, if there's more Xboxes available, they're going to sell more. So that's possible what happened here. So here's the tweet. In the UK last month, the Series X S was a best-selling console. That's three different best-selling consoles in the UK over the last three months. November PS5, December Switch. That's interesting, honestly. Now, to go on, it says how Xbox may have managed to increase the supply of consoles in the UK to the point that it's outselling both Sony and Nintendo is an intriguing question on its own. It could mean that Xbox is targeting the UK region more, or it could mean that Xbox has raised its manufacturing overall. Now, I know there is a bit of a bottleneck with AMD and stock and all that. I don't hear too much in way of scalpers for Xboxes, but definitely in the UK, there's a lot of problems with PS5 um, quantities. So it said it could also mean nothing with Xbox's advantages being a fluke tied to fluctuating console shipping as more Xbox Series XS consoles arrived while PS5 and Switches were still on cargo ships. That could just basically be it, that there was more available. Regards to the reason, the achievement is still impressive for the recently released next-gen console. The UK remains a very high potential market for Xbox given past trends. For example, the Xbox One outsold both the PS4 and Switch over Black Friday in 2019. If there's a market where Xbox can keep up with or even overtake the PS5, it would probably be in the UK. So, huh, very interesting. I didn't know they had such a better foothold in the United Kingdom. But a very interesting story, nonetheless, about Xbox. So good on them. Congrats. Again, we don't ever get official sales numbers, though. I have no idea why Microsoft chooses to withhold their information. But according to this report, they did it. Uh, I don't know how accurate it could be. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And uh, I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much, guys. Take care.